What's popping, Clods? I'm not gonna say that on your video. What's up, Clods? Uh, welcome to the first video on my new Pop Funko channel. We're not gonna be here forever. This is the studio for my Lego channel, which if you never heard of it before, um, go. I'll put the link in the description. I'll also put the link in the description of my old gaming channel and then my new gaming analytical channel. Um, but today I thought it would be fun if my first video I just take a look at what I've gotten in the last uh, about 30 days. Um, I only just recently started collecting pop figures. Well, I guess not really. I my first actually I, I will save my first Funko Pop for a Q and A someday. Um, but I've been kind of consistently collecting, well, not consistent. I started kind of collecting in 20, uh, 18, 2018. Right? Maybe. Maybe 2018. <laughs> um, did I, when did I play Portal? Well, ever since I started playing Portal 2, which I'm pretty sure was 2018 that I got that game, um, I said, I was just like browsing Amazon or something, looking at Portal merchandise, and I was like, oh, Portal Funko Pops. I was like, you know, those things are kind of, they kind of look cool. And so, uh, you know, I got the full series, and then ever since then I've been kind of steadily collecting. I, I kind of just didn't at all during the beginning of this year, but then starting in the summer and through, well, now I've been collecting more and more because I think they look pretty cool. Um, and soon I'm going to have like kind of like this separate section over here. Well, over there or in my bedroom. It's probably going to be in my bedroom. It's the easiest thing to do. Um, and it's just going to be a little Funko studio for these videos. But um, as I've been consistently collecting, I've been doing that more and more. And within the past about roughly 30 days, um, I have collected four more pops. And so today I want to show you them in order of how I got them. So... This is actually a pretty... I, although I don't collect the Star Wars Pops or the Marvel Pops. Not that I don't like Star Wars and Marvel. I actually love Star Wars and Marvel, but... Um, I don't like the bobbleheads. They just look kind of weird to me. But recently I went to a toy convention. And there was this one guy selling a ton of pop figures. And he had a really good deal on this one. Can you tell what it is? Luke Skywalker with speeder bike, but you know what else it is. <laughs> it's a Chase edition. If you guys don't know, Chase is kind of like the very limited edition of Funko Pops. And this is my first Chase. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, now I have this Luke Skywalker. Um, the one difference, I'll take him. Actually, yeah, sure, I'll take him out. The only difference is the helmet. Uh, if you compare these, the helmet has the gray. I don't know where my finger is. The helmet has the gray right there. This one has the green and then the, a bit more markings. Oh, and also this is like... Actually, no, this is a completely different mold. This head's a completely different mold than this. Look at, look at the sides of these helmets. Compare them. But there was my first one. And you know how much I, I don't think I said this already, but you know how much I paid for this? Well, for, okay, I looked on eBay first to make sure I was getting a, a good deal before I bought this. And then I looked at the eBay price and I said, heck yeah. This thing was about uh, 30 to $40 on eBay. I bought this at the toy convention for $20. Yep, 
20 bucks. That is a really good deal for a Chase Pop. And even, like, at that, a Pop rides. Or whatever these are called. With them riding in a vehicle. So, there's that. The same day, I went to Target right after that. And I heard about the Crump Jokers, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. They didn't have the green one, and I want to get the green one, but I did purchase the purple one. I want green and purple, because those are like Joker's main colors, obviously. And someday I kind of want to have the full Arkham set, because I really love that in Arkham. Um, but there's Joker, chrome purple. I, I don't know if I'll get all the chromes, but I want the green, definitely. The next one is one that I got about a week later. I went to Barnes and Noble, and I didn't even know these existed, even though I love I love Batman. But these this was the only 80th anniversary Batman pop they had, and it is the Batman 1995, which is Batman Forever, which is also in the uh, kind of saga of the Burton movies. So there's what's kind of weird is that there's a 95 one and there's an 89 one, and 89, as you know, well I guess as you might not know is uh, when the first of this like quadrilogy came out. Um, but this one was one of the... Batman Forever, which is where this is from, it is one of the worst ones, one of the worst movies, but the pop looks really cool. The uh, box art is also really nice, as you guys can see. It's, the black is a real, really, really sleek. see the... <laughs> okay, this is kind of disturbing, but... So, in that, in those movies, the way the bat suit was made, you could see, uh... What's his... Who played him? Why did I just forget that? I usually remember stuff like that. Oh, crap. I'm bending the art. Well, it's not art, it's just great. Um, uh, no, Ben Affleck was the word. Well, the, you could, you could, the way the bat suit was made, the actor, you could see his nipples going through, and that's actually a feature on the Funko Pop, which is really disturbing. Then, I didn't get pops for several weeks, um, so I was kind of broke. And then yesterday, just yesterday, I went to Barnes & Noble, and another thing I really love is Lord of the Rings. And so they had, like, the usual ones. Like, they had the Dunhero King, which I really want that one. I love the Dead Men of Dunhero. Um, kind of... I don't, know, I don't even know why I love them so much, because they barely have a presence in the... Well, I mean, like, they barely have characters. <laughs> and the books or the movies, or, like, any other medium. But I think of Baromir, and... I was like, yeah, those are all pretty cool. I might pick one up. And then I saw this, and I have seen this like every time I went to Barnes & Noble because they always are full of them because it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. You probably know what I'm talking about already. I got the clear Gollum because I was like, well, I do love Gollum, so why don't I get this clear one because that's pretty cool. And obviously it's supposed to represent him with the ring on, which, you know, if you have the, the one ring to rule them all... I'll, on, well, if a hobbit has it on. Um, that's a common misconception. Uh, the ring only turns you invisible if you're a hobbit, because as a hobbit, you're already so small, you have so small of power that, like, that's all it, it does for you. Um, well, also, it corrupts your mind, but <laughs> I thought this clear, clear golem was pretty cool. Um, so, Lily just all transparent, and it's, it's pretty nice. I hope to get all of these. All like I want to get someday all of the Lord of the Rings series because they're fairly cheap on Amazon. Uh, so 
In the same wave, there's also Aragorn, Regular Gollum, Lurtz, Pippin Took, Merry, Brandybuck, and Treebeard. Treebeard's one of the taller ones. I, I don't know how tall he is. He's probably like this tall. Yeah, he's probably like that tall. But that one is pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for this month. I'm going to do monthly updates of uh, my collection. I don't even know if you can see all these on screen right now, but I'm going to do monthly updates of my collection. Also kind of lists and maybe a whole video about my upbringing collecting Funko Pops, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I don't have a catchphrase yet, so I'm just going to use my Lego channel catchphrase. Don't be craggled, and peace out.